Hey guys, welcome back to another episode on how to hack. So here, we are back to web code as part of a web application penetration testing series. And on the right side, we have client side attacks. And you can go ahead and click on to HTML tampering. So here we are in the lesson. And the concept is that browsers generally allow us to edit, change information as we submit them all right, into the web application system for processing, either inputting into database, updating the database, or even removing from the database, just like your shopping cart, just like all this different data that you may be inputting into an e-commerce site, a social media platform, your bank account. So moving on to lesson number two. All right, so over here it says, try yourself. In an online store, you ordered a new TV. Try to buy one or more TVs for a lower price. Okay, so over here we have the quantity and we have the price. And of course we have a remove button. And of course it help us add in the subtotal. And over here we can see all those different information. So you can go ahead and click on checkout. And of course you get the following response. This is too expensive. You need to buy at a cheaper cost. So what we need to do is we need to be able to amend the information that is being submitted from the browser into the web application system. All right, so what we can do is to make use of web developer to help us launch the attack. So going to the right side, okay, we can go ahead and click under menu and you can click under web developer and you can click onto network or you can use the shortcut control shift E. So go ahead and click on it. And over here, all right, we can see the lesson manual.mvc and so on. So we can easily clear all of them, all right. And you can go ahead and click on checkout. So once you do so, we will have a following task, which is a post method and a status 200. So you can go ahead and click on it, and we have the parameters. So here we can see the quantity, the total number, and of course we have the response. And the response is feedback. This is too expensive. You need to buy at a cheaper cost. All right, so what we can do is do a right click, okay, on the left side, and click under edit and resend. Go ahead and click on it. And what we can do here is we can look at the request haters and all this different information. And then we have the request body. So in this case, we have QTY, which stands for quantity and total. So all you gotta do is change and amend any of the values under total. So in this case, we're gonna use 29.99. All right, so once you're done with this, you can go ahead, all right, and click send. All right, so once you're done with it, you can click onto the new task, all right, you can double click on it. And it says over here, feedback, well done. You just bought TV at a discount. All right, so immediately we'll be able to alter the way that we're sending data to and fro between the browser as well as the web application system. All right, so once again, I hope you've learned something valuable in today's tutorial. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. And I'll try my best to answer any of your queries. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel so that you can be kept abreast of the latest cybersecurity tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching.